where we the people seize back our authority to govern ourselves. So far I've been sharing a pretty darn depressing history with you, but believe it or not, the main reason I'm here today is to share with you the good news. The good news is that for the past 13 years, communities across this country have been rising up and starting to challenge the actual structures of law that make real democracy not just difficult, but literally impossible, illegal. These structures of law include corporations having won a whole variety of constitutional so-called rights, such as free speech rights, property rights, privacy rights, protection against search and seizure rights, and many others. All of these so-called corporate rights came directly out of the Supreme Court. Talk about an activist court. It's an outrage. But there's more. State governments use laws called state preemption in Dillon's rule to ban local governments from protecting their human and non-human residents from corporate harm. What are we doing to challenge this? In 150 communities in eight states, we've passed laws now that are themselves acts of civil disobedience against these unjust structures of law. We've passed laws that ban corporate factory farms, corporate fracking, corporate water withdrawal for bottling, corporate sludge dumping on farmland. These laws also strip corporations of all of their so-called constitutional rights. These laws directly challenge the authority of state governments to tell us what we can and cannot pass local laws about. We call ourselves the Community Rights Movement, and there are folks walking through the crowd right now with flyers about our work. I'm here to tell you that two counties in the Willamette Valley of Oregon are about to make history. Benton and Lane counties are just weeks from filing community rights ordinances that will prohibit corporations from engaging in unsustainable agricultural practices. If these ordinances are approved by the voters next May, the planting of genetically modified seeds will be banned in Benton and Lane counties. Those who are already growing genetically modified crops in those counties will be held personally and financially liable if their pollen drifts into neighboring farms and contaminates other crops. GMO farmers will have six months to remove all GMO crops after passage of the ordinance or will be held personally and financially liable. These ordinances are referred to as a food bill of rights. They enshrine into local law a right to sustainable food systems, a right to seed heritage, a right of natural communities to exist, persist, and evolve. That's rights of nature, rights for nature. And finally, a right to self-government. They are legally binding and locally enforceable. We citizens are not merely consumers who vote with our dollars. We are not merely single-issue activists who battle against one corporate atrocity at a time. We are we the people. That is where our primary power resides and we need to remember that truth. I am thrilled to be able to announce to you that over the past few months, the national staff of the Organic Consumers Association has been meeting with myself and my colleagues in the community rights movement, and they're very, very excited about what we're doing in Benson and Lane counties. Yeah. They're very, very excited about a rights-based strategy that strips agricultural corporations of their so-called rights. Yeah. They 
they agree with us that the Food Bill of Rights is a powerful new tool in ending the dominance of Monsanto and other agricultural corporations. Yeah. If you're a member of the Organic Consumers Association, please thank them for their support of the community rights movement. Again, there are people walking through the crowd handing out flyers that will give you more info about Benton and Lane County's Food Bill of Rights, about how you can learn more about and get involved in the community rights movement here in Portland and in other places. There's even a t-shirt table somewhere out there in the crowd. I haven't found it. If you don't see the flyer, go to paulcienfuegos.com or communityrightspdx.org. If 